everyone, happening right now on Weekend Wake Up. A man is recovering this thing after his car flipped over in Kenmore. Plus, volunteers are making sure soldiers serving overseas are remembered this holiday season. And the Salvation Army is challenging shoppers to fill a truck with toys. Weekend Wake Up continues right here, right now. Live in high definition. This is Western New York's news leader. We're taking a live look at the 290 this morning, and it's a chilly start to the day. It's in the 30 degrees. Good morning, everyone. I'm Brittany Smallwood. Today is Sunday, December 9th, and as I was mentioning before, it is a chilly day. It's about 30 degrees outside, so Brian... I heard you saying the uh, rain is coming later on today, right? Yeah, we do have some rain on the way for probably this afternoon and this evening, but at least it's dry right now. It is a little cool, though. Temperatures are going to rise to probably the mid-30 degree range, upper 30s by this evening, and temperatures will actually continue to rise throughout tonight and then cool tomorrow. So our weather is going to be pretty wild over the next couple of days because we could see some snow in there, too, with the cold front on the way. So forewarned Doppler was actually showing a little bit of light snow over towards the Niagara Peninsula. We're dry here in western New York, though. Our rain showers are going to actually move in from the southwest. So 28 degrees right now in Niagara Falls, so it is chilly out there. We will see winds picking up as well, so mid-30s by noontime, upper 30s for this evening. And then it looks like by morning we'll see temperatures in the upper 40s. So we'll talk more about that, we'll talk about why that's happening, and then have more on what you can expect for the Bills game coming up. Thanks, Brian. And remember, you can get the latest forecast anytime online at WYVB.com or on our free News 4 app for your Android or smartphone. One, it, one man is recovering this morning after a nasty rollover crash in Kenmore. Emergency crews had to use the jaws of life to free a man from this accident near Delaware and Enola Avenue around 5.30 yesterday. Police say the man was driving south on Delaware when he clipped a parked car. This 85-year-old woman died following an accident in Jamestown. A pickup truck collided with Angeline Marucci as she crossed West 4th Street Friday. The driver of the truck was not charged. Three men are under arrest and accused of robbing in Allegheny County Pharmacy. Witnesses say they saw the three men, 17-year-old Kyle Stives, 19-year-old Joseph Fenty, and 25-year-old Robert Smith, all sneak into a Bolivar store through a back window, steal merchandise, then run off. State troopers say they found the men a short time later at a nearby apartment. Volunteers in western New York are hard at work making sure the men and women that serve our country overseas are remembered this holiday season. It's part of Holidays for Soldiers, a push to make sure the troops have some comforts of home even though they can't be home this year. Stockings were stuffed with playing cards, socks, beef jerky, decorations, and more. They love it. There's letters. Once you do it, you're always going to help. I started doing it 10 years just to go because my brother is out there. And then once you get those letters, then you just keep doing it, because it really does mean a lot. This year's drive is in honor of Army Sergeant William Wilson III. The Getzville native was killed in Afghanistan earlier this year. Closer to home, new reports say lawmakers have routinely ignored warnings for potential disasters, including Superstorm Sandy. As the cleanup in New Jersey continues, some residents say it's a blessing in disguise CBS's John Bentley explains. More than a month after Hurricane Sandy slammed into Long Island, workers are still digging out from the damage. 